Here viewers, Assalamu Alaikum. Today we will discuss that how we can plot graph for our data. The data may be UV visible uh, absorption spectrum or the FTIR spectrum for our uh, extracts or for our compounds or nanoparticles. So here I am going to use Origin Pro 6.1. So we can use different tools like Graph Pet Prism also, but uh, this is uh, this tool is where your data analysis. So here we have our file which is text file, and it is the uh, data obtained from FTIR spectrophotometer. And uh, here, if you look at here, it is the uh, wavelength in per centimeter and uh, in front of this uh, wavelength we have percentage transmitters which is shown here so this data if we want to select uh, a single column or only wavelength we cannot select this uh, but it will be selected as a whole so first we want to split this data into wavelength and the percentage transmitters that's why we need two different columns like here we will put wavelength in the x axis x, x, x and uh, the absorbance or percentage transmitters on in y axis so for this uh, usually i am i am going to use uh, excel file microsoft excel so how we will we will select this file so i am going to select this control a then copy this file with control a. And now we are going to paste here in Microsoft Excel file. So here, so the data is pasted here. Now this is our file in only single column, and uh, it contains wavelength and uh, percentage transmitters. Now I am going to make this data into two different columns: wavelength in one column and uh, the percentage transmitters in another column so for this we will select this column so it is already selected a1 now we will move to data and in data we will click on text to columns so text to column then it is delimited so it is checked already delimited characters such as commas or tape separate each field in fixed width fields are aligned in column with spaces between each field so this is selected delimited now we will move to next and in next we will check this space because we have space between two different data or figures which are present here or shown here there is no comma or full stop between if we separate this data according to full stop then it will be separated from here and here also so we are going to separate our data according to space so after this we will go to next and now if you look at here our data is separated uh, here with this one and this so it is separated by two different column so we can also uh, use this destination that where we want to uh, paste so we want to paste in C and D or B or C so it is the destination so we are not going to ch uh, change this destination and we will go to finish and after finishing this uh, we get our result in two different columns so now, now look at here it is our in a column we have wavelength in per centimeter and in b column we have now percentage transmitters now we uh, separated our data into two different columns and uh, we will select this and copy this data and now we will open our origin pro and we are going to paste this data in origin pro so control v so this data is pasted here now we have this data and uh, we are going to plot our graph against this data we can simply use this uh, by plotting this as this line or uh, we can also we can also go to uh, plot here from line plot we will check we can use scatter plot we can also use line plus symbol or special line and symbol with 2d uh, or 3d segments 
or we can also use 3d or 3d x y z or so on so these are the different types of graph here uh, but i am going to make a line graph now it is our graph which is present here so it is uh, from 5, 0 to 4, 40, 40, 500 but uh, we know that in uh, IR spectrum we use this graph from uh, from this direction towards this direction so we are going to uh, inverse this scale so we will right click on this axis and go to scale and from here we will uh, show that we need fr uh, from from four from four thousand four hundred to four thousand we have selected and apply so now this is our graph which will be shown like here so it contains major peaks from this region to this region that's why i have selected from four hundred to four thousand and uh, now this data uh, is shown here and these are our peaks which are present here like here here so these are peaks and uh, how we will pick our peaks so we will go to this tool and from here tools from here we will go to pick peaks and from pick peaks we can use positive or negative peaks so i am going to uncheck this positive peak because we know that we have this absorbance maximum where the percentage transmitters is minimum so we have inverse peak in ir spectrum so that's why i am going to check negative peak we can uh, select this scale from width and height if we are going to select five width and five height and the minimum height is five show center center from center of the peak show label find peaks we will so it it finds peaks these peaks are six 69 1031 and 1382 so these three peaks are selected from this and uh, if we are going to uh, this uh, minimize this range or narrow range like here i am going to select three three and minimum height uh, with three so now it will it will find more peaks like here it be it, this peak will also be 1635 so in this way we can select peaks if you look at here this is also a broader peak and we know that it is due to uh, nh group or oh group of amines or alcohol so in this case we can uh, analyze that where this peak is present so we can uh, move cursor here like here i am going to make cursor here so it gives that this peak is at 34.73 per centimeter and the value is 0 0.20 so in this way we can mark this peak so if, if we want to mark this peak also we will we can select this area and we can mark this peak that and we can write here but with text we can write here that at it is at 3470 this after decimal it is a large uh, range so we can uh, minimize this uh, range Sorry. so we will go to peaks so here we have data here graph and then peaks so these are the peaks and uh, these are the negative peaks and uh, these are the values so here we can remove this after decimal point uh, we can in this way we can remove the uh, after decimal data we can remove data from so it will be like here or we can uh, round off our data we can also round off our data so i'm only going to show you that how we can so okay now this graph will show us peaks like here this like this 1635 1382 1031 and 669 so after this we can uh, change this uh, point like here this peak so we can uh, select this that how this peak should be represented so this should be uh, red and the individual color should be like uh, black so i'm going to apply okay 
now it will be shown with black it can also be shown with blue color or some other so we can select we can also select that this uh, color should be individual color should it will be blue apply okay now it is blue we can also change this color after this data so it should be so it should be blue and uh, we can change the font it should be times new roman so we will go to times new roman and the size and then it should be bold or not and then we will go to apply okay now these are our this is our data so these peaks are present and we can also change this line which is a solid line it can be uh, dotted or dashed line and uh, the width should be uh, i usually use two so width will be changed and the color can also be changed from here so we can use like here i'm going to change its color like red so okay so in this way we can change this color of our uh, this spectrum after this we can uh, change the x-axis title and i am going to write here that it is our wavelength and uh, wavelength in per centimeter and then we can change its uh, it, it into bold and then we can change its size from here to 20 and also change the font uh, style text style should be times new roman uh, we can also uh, this x we can also change the tick like here i am going to change this minor ticks to zero and uh, we can also change the increment values and the difference and uh, apply now minor ticks have been finished or removed similarly on, in y-axis we can remove minor ticks and uh, we can also scale this like here it is uh, too much so where we can select from uh, minus 1 to like 12, 10 and then we are going to remove these minor ticks now this data is, looks more fine then on y-axis title we will double click on it we can write here that it is our percentage transmitting and we can change the color or we can change its italic bold or etc or in power and here i am going to change this again in uh, for all this data we can change our data from aerial to time of this and we can also bold make it bold and we can we can uh, make this uh, like these peaks we can also change the color of this arrow like here it is uh, it should be blue thickness can be changed so it will be similar like these arrows so in this way we can make our graph we can also change our legion like here i am going to write here that it is uh, something nanoparticle and again we can change the style size color boldness and uh, so on so i am going to our boldness we will select one by one then we will select bold uh, the color should be magenta font should be uh, times new roman okay so in this way so we can change its position so after this i am going to show you that how we can compare different datas like here we have this graph and i am going to compare this graph with some other graph so how we can uh, produce this so again i will go to uh, some our from our data like here i am going to show you we have some other data like here i have this data so again i am going to 
uh, split this data in Microsoft Excel file which is already which already I have this file so I am going to choose this file from here and uh, I am going to so here I have this file I am going to select this file copy and uh, again I am going to paste it here in origin pro so we will go to data and uh, I am going to add new column so this is our next column and it will make a second graph which should be compared so paste data here okay now I am going to compare this we can also make a graph of uh, only this one so we will only select this and then so it is our graph for that data so we can compare uh, this graph if we if we want to compare then we will select uh, both of these and we will plot so in this way so now it compares both uh, data and uh, if I am going to take some other like here I am going to take some other data like here copy again and I am going to paste here so I am going to make another graph a new column paste paste data now I am going to compare all these four or we can compare three of these or two of these so we can select this one this one and this one and now we are going to compare so plot and line so this way So for this I am going to uh, select only this and this one plot so both of these are overlapping with each other so it is the same data from here I'm going to art and line so in this way now if you look at here both graphs are different and they can be compared so again I am going to check this scale and from uh, up to 4000 from 400 so inverse this scale okay now these are our values so now this graph can be compared and we can again we can go to tools and pick peaks and find peaks okay so in this way we get our results and we can compare our uh, different graphs and uh, we can also change the color of these lines and uh, we can change text from here and we can format our x-axis or y-axis titles and as well as this uh, columns so we can also change their color we can also change their font from here and uh, we can also change the size and points and the lines which are text tick lines so we can also change these grid lines from here okay so today we discussed that how we can uh, make graph in origin pro and uh, how we can analyze our data and i have uh, given an example of ftir data and how uh, we compared these uh, two data two ftir data from our compounds and in this way we analyze our results so thanks for watching my video